Coach Z, you guys just finished up with a club practice, and it's called the Red Flag practice. I believe you're the originator of the Red Flag. Is that correct? Well, I don't know. I picked it up, you know, a while ago, you know, coming through my high school and college days. But, you know, it's just a red, red flag just means that when you come in and you tell the guys you're having a red flag practice, it just means it's, it's going to be intense practice. And, and so the guys know it's an intense practice. they got to bring their level way up, and that's what you expect. You expect the guys in this room to pick their, their level way up. Because it's a hard workout, but it's only as hard as you make it. Okay, you guys, uh, you got Orange Crush guys kind of working in, and you, you, you guys are getting a real good push, okay? When they have the red flags, are you seeing the intensity levels raised like you wanted here at Oregon State? At yeah, Oregon State? Yeah, yeah, I mean, because I usually talk about it. I usually talk what it means, you know. I mean, you don't do this practice all the time, but when you have it, it's kind of a, hey, you want as a coach, you want to see them step their level up, you know, push themselves. You know, you want to see them just push themselves to where they, you know, they, they, they're, they're dead-ass tired when they get out of here. Okay, I, uh, I saw a couple times today a couple instances where guys weren't wrestling and they weren't being offensive enough. You like constant forward motion, kind of stalking guys, really getting after them. When guys don't do that, <clears throat> how do you handle it, and, and how do you punish them from not getting after each other? Well, if they're not getting after it, you know, I kind of made, you know, hey, a couple guys, you know, took off, had to take off running, you know. So, you know, it, it, it's good for me as a coach to see, you know, who can do it, who can't, just so, you know, you just work on it. Work on it in, in, the, in the off season. work on it uh, in individual practices on what, you know, the constant pressure you want to see. Okay, a lot, of, a lot of this college is hand fighting and going for position. Uh, you had two guys that hand fought a lot. Those are the two guys that you sent running. After they went running, I saw six takedowns, seven takedowns between them in about a three-minute period then. Do you think that they realized, you know, they were being punished and they changed their level? Yeah, I think they, they got, got the point. They'd probably rather wrestle than, than run, you know. I mean, just hey, they're running, you watch other guys, and they're the only two guys running, so hopefully they get the point that, hey, you get out, when you're out here, you got to wrestle. Are there red flag practices uh, during the season? If so, how often? Yeah, during the season, it's just you never know when. When you know, you just it's just when as a coach you think they need one. You know, sometimes turn that you know big push you know to, to where you want your team to come up to here. So it it, it could be you know preseason, it could be middle of the season. You know, a lot of times it's the end of the season. Maybe not as long. It just depends. Are you getting the turnouts for the optional summer workouts that you have? and club workouts are you getting the turnouts that you want yeah i mean this, these are options these guys are you know here if they want to be here you know it's you know we got camp and you know we we, we just kind of have a club workout and if guys want to work out they can work out so we've had quite a few guys you know staying around working jobs in the summer and coming in here and get some workouts in all right what's the rest of the uh summer hold for you guys and you maybe and your staff and your athletes well you finish up camps you know and then uh, you know the month of august is you know it's you know, pretty much back in the weight room real hard and getting ready for next season all right coach z thank you for showing me some of your secrets and your tricks and if people want to see them they're going to have to do that technique wave right that's right all right coach thanks for the time thank you